This Coin Week Weekly Report is brought to you by AU Capital Management. Rare coins and precious metals. Shop www.aucmcoins.com. Hi everybody, I'm Coin Week Editor Charles Morgan and this is your Coin Week Weekly Report for the week ending April 10th, 2015. Well, the big story we covered this week in the world of numismatics had to do with modern coins, but it also crossed over into the pattern coin area. And that was the adjudication of the more than one year long case against the federal government for their attempts to seize the 1974D aluminum scent pattern. Coin Week's coin analysts had the full details, but in summary, know that the federal government's position that the coin was never released and therefore not possible to be owned by the private individual who was attempting to sell it at the Heritage Auction last year was rejected by the federal judge who said that it was plausible under the specific circumstances of this coin to be held by the owner. I invite you to read that article and many more that we bring to you every day at coinweek.com. In a preview of what's going to be coming this Sunday, Mike Markowitz, our ancient coin expert, has a series of nine videos about coins of the Bible. Here's a quick clip of one of them. Welcome. My name is Mike Markowitz. I'm with the Ancient Numismatic Society of Washington. The 30 pieces of silver. This is probably the coin that's referenced. The Greek text in Matthew says, Triaconta Argyria. Because the, the Greeks didn't have Arabic numerals, they used Greek letters to write their dates. And you can just make out here, Rho, Nu, Theta. Rho, Nu, thir, Theta. Here is your Coin Week auction preview of the Heritage Auctions Platinum Night Sale, the Central States Numismatic Society Convention, Internet bidding is active for these lots, and the live auction will take place on the evening of April 22nd. Many of the coins discussed in this segment are detailed in CoinWeek.com writer Greg Reynolds' weekly column titled Coin Rarities and Related Topics. It's published every Wednesday on CoinWeek. To read Greg's informative column in a new tab in your internet browser, click the link provided on the bottom left of this screen. Heritage will be offering 10 Stella $4 gold patterns in this auction. The two-year series was produced in 1879 and 1880. This example, lot 5301, is the rare 1880 coiled hair Stella. It may be the finest known specimen. It is graded proof 67 by NGC and is CAC approved. Lot 5419 is a rare and gorgeous 1933 eagle. While its double denomination sister coin might take the lion's share of the national limelight, the $33 $10 gold coin would be a trophy in any collection. One of three certified by CAC at the MS65 level, this example comes in a PCGS old green holder and might even upgrade to MS65 Plus if resubmitted. An unheralded great rarity, the 1856O, is seldom seen and seldom discussed when collectors talk about rare date U.S. gold. Unknown in mint state, two are graded finer. Expect strong bids for this pre-war $20 New Orleans issue. Lot 5546 is a rare 19th century U.S. pattern coin, the 1882 Shield Earring Quarter. Greg discussed this pattern in his March 11th column. A link to that article can be found by clicking the graphic in the bottom left corner. The obverse design should be familiar to collectors of the classic Morgan Dollar series. Here, George T. Morgan flipped his famous female bust horizontally so that now she faces to the right. Her hair, still flowing, is styled differently, hanging from her ears a distinctive federal shield. Tied for the finest known, we expect strong bidding for this coveted specimen. Heritage will be offering off two 1792 half deems. This, the finer of the two specimens, was once in the famous collection of Baltimore financier Louis Eliasberg. 
Rated MS-64 by PCGS, it is one of 21 18th century Mint State rarities being offered by Heritage from the Music City Collection. We expect bidding for this piece to exceed $350,000. And wrapping up our Heritage Auctions Platinum Night Preview is a fantastically struck and preserved 1907 St. Gaudens High Relief Double Eagle. This is the flat rim variety, rarer than the 1907 wire rim. The flat rim was a late year modification to the design and what was the most tumultuous year of the coin's production. The St. Gaudens is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful examples of American coin art, and this example is a masterpiece. And before I go, a final word. Less than two weeks, Coin Week executive producer David Lasso and I will be packing our bags, heading to Schaumburg, Illinois, site of the Central States Numismatic Society's annual convention. What a great show. Dealers from all across the country come to convene on the Bourse floor. Collectors from all across Mid-America show up to look for that special numismatic item. And if you're into numismatic history, there are seminars and lectures, coin club meetings, and some of the best exhibits that you will ever see at a coin show. Central States is famous for their very indulgent prizes that they award for the winners of these exhibits, gold coins. So you can imagine the competitive spirit of the whole event. We look forward to being there to talk to industry leaders, collectors, and exhibitors to see what they brought to bear at this most important mid-year show. So we hope you join us for our coverage. We'll have video footage loaded as soon as we get it produced. And as always, I'm your editor, Charles Morgan, thanking you for watching Coin Week's videos, reading us online, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and everything you do to make our enterprise successful to bring coin information on a daily basis to you. See you next week. Happy collecting. If you like this weekly report, you'll love these three videos, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Coin Week is the number one source online for all things numismatic. Visit www.coinweek.com to take your hobby to the next level.